there is another scenario where our xi is multidimensional okay which is our scenario because in our case our data is data set is multidimensional that is eight dimensional we have got eight features so in that case how you are going to compute this likelihood so guys in this in that case this likelihood can be expanded and written like this okay and guys because again in our case all the eight features are floating point features so this likelihood will be specifically represented by multivariate gaussian distribution okay why multivariate because now there are more than one variables there are more than one features okay and this probability will be computed using the pdf of multivariate gaussian distribution so guys here you can see a very general equation of the pdf of multivariate gaussian distribution and here we have assumed that our data set is n dimensional data set okay so again guys similarly expanding the concept of univariate gaussian distribution to multivariate gaussian distribution like univariate gaussian distribution was having two parameters one was mean one was standard deviation here again our multivariate gaussian distribution is having two parameters one is mean vector and another one is a square matrix which is called the covariance matrix okay and in more in more uh, i would say uh, compact form the pdf of n dimensional multivariate gaussian distribution be written like that okay now guys we know that our data set is eight dimensional okay so instead of n we have to take the value of eight so our multivariate gaussian distribution for the case of malignant tumors will be written something like that okay and it will be having again two parameters one is your mean vector which is going to be eight dimensional and one is your covariance matrix which is going to be again a square matrix which is an eight by eight matrix and the pdf will be written something like this okay so again guys the concept is pretty much similar the just like we have the param, we have the mean and standard deviation as parameters of a univariate gaussian distribution here we have mean vector and covariance matrix as the parameter of multivariate gaussian distribution okay so guys in a similar manner for benign tumors also we will be having two parameters one is our eight dimensional mean vector and one is our eight into eight covariance matrix given by mu zero and sigma zero okay so these two set of parameters for uh likelihood conditioned on benign tumors and the above two parameters that is mu1 and sigma1 for the likelihood conditioned on malignant tumors okay okay so guys now the question arises is that how the multivariate gaussian distribution is going to look like okay how it is going to look like okay and what do these parameters actually mean mean vector and covariance matrix what do they actually mean so guys in order to know the answer to this question what we are going to do that we are going to again limit ourselves to the scenario of only such kind of data set which has got only two features okay so it means that now our for time being guys we just want to visualize so for the for the purpose of visualizing we are doing this only okay and later on we'll again go back to the case of eight features okay so right now we are just for timing downsizing it to the two features so guys in this case again our xi will be having only two features that means the feature vector of a tumor will be having only two features because our data set is having only two features again mu1 vector will be a two dimensional vector covariance matrix will be a two by two covariance matrix for the case of likelihood condition non malignant for the case of likelihood condition non benign again the mean vector will be having two dimensional vector covariance matrix will be two by two matrix and guys now let's for time being consider that our data set has got only two features with us radius first and parameter first okay so let's have a look on this data set and guys you can clearly see that our training data now has got again the same number of tumors but right now there are only three columns okay that means two features and one class column class level column so guys again we are going to compute like the way we did for the univariate gaussian distribution we are going to do the same thing for uh, multivariate gaussian distribution that we are going to compute the mean vector and the covariance matrix and guys this is the mean vector for the likelihood of uh, conditioned on uh, malignant tumor and this is the covariance matrix for the likelihood conditioned on uh, malignant tumor and guys similarly we can compute the mean vector and covariance matrix for the case of conditioned on benign tumors okay so guys now let's try to understand that how our gaussian distribution is going to look like in the case of two random variables or two features okay so guys here you can see a function which is going to plot for us the gaussian distributions and guys here we we are going to plot the gaussian distribution or multivariate gaussian distribution for the case when the covariance matrix looks something like this so guys let's plot the distribution so guys you can clearly see that it's going to look like a mountain okay it's uh, taking the same shape as in the case of uh, a two dimensional gaussian distribution but guys because now we have two random variables so it's shown as a mountain okay now let's change the covariance matrix to this 
let's change it to this. So we have just flipped the sign and we are still keeping the mean vector to be the same. So let's plot again. So guys, you can clearly see that it has changed its orientation. For the case of uh, upper triangle and lower triangle and covariance matrix as negative, it was looking like that. For the case of positive, it is looking like that. So it has changed its orientation, guys. Now let's again change the covariance matrix to this. Okay, let's see what happens in this case. Okay, so guys, now our Gaussian distribution is looking totally circular. Before it was looking elliptical and now it is looking circular. Now our mountain is even shaped from every side. Okay, now let's again uh, change the covariance matrix to this. Okay, that means we are just changing the diagonal elements and we are keeping the lower triangle and upper triangle to be zero. Okay, so guys, as you can see that the height of the distribution has been reduced, but the, but the diameter of the circle has increased. It means we are, we are increasing the spread of the distribution. Now let's reduce the upper triangle and lower triangle elements less than to less than one. Okay, and let's again plot the distribution guys while keeping the mean vector to be the same. So guys, now you will see that the height of the distribution has increased a lot and the diameter of the circle has reduced. It means we have reduced the spread of the distribution. Okay. Now let's again change the mean vector guys. Now let's keep the covariance matrix to be this exactly the same, but now let's change the mean vector and let's see what happens. So guys, now we are going to change the mean vector to three, two. Okay. And let's see what happens in this case. So guys, you can clearly see that the distribution has moved from its position before the position of the distribution was something else. But now the position of the distribution is three, two. Okay. And now guys, we can clearly observe, we can clearly make some observations from all these plots, which you can see here that the mean vector controls the position of the distribution and the covariance matrix controls the spread and shape of the distribution. Okay. Where upper and lower triangle elements control the shape. That means either the shape is going to be circular or elliptical and the uh, as well as the orientation, whereas the diagonal element control the spread of the distribution that how much area that distribution is going to take. Okay. So guys, now let's plot the co uh, let's plot the multivariate Gaussian distribution for our case of two dimensional data. And it is going to look like this. And guys, this is the plot of uh, the likelihood condition on the malignant tumors. This is how the distribution is looking like. And guys, as you can see, it's highly elliptical. Let's plot again the plot of the multivariate Gaussian distribution for the case of uh, condition on uh, benign tumor. And guys, again, you can see it is looking something like that. And we can now consider or you can say uh, we can now take the similar kind of concept and extend it to the scenario of eight dimensional data. Okay, but the only difference now is that guys, we are not able to visualize our distributions because we are in eight dimensions. Okay.